The matter of bringing a, a, a director's full potential forward is it's an active process and I think it starts even before their first board meeting. Beforehand, there's usually a very comprehensive um, onboarding process and that's really to kind of bring them up to speed on the company and that's usually meeting with each of the senior executives, senior members of management, possibly visiting a plant if that was important to the organization, understanding the shareholder perspective or concern. So there's the homework. Then there's also meeting all of the directors ahead of the formal meeting. And I think with familiarity and having had a chance to break bread or share a coffee or connect, uh, there's a better uh, comfort, a, a feeling of safety that allows them to contribute at that first board meeting. Um, during the meeting, I think the chair and the committee chairs for which they sit on should be conscious of a mentoring role that they play. Here's what you can expect at the board table, and then maybe how did it go? How did it feel? The best boards that we see are when the chairs or the committee chairs are seeing that leadership uh, role be part of the responsibility in bringing a new director on board. It doesn't just stop when we've made the announcement. And I think the relationship building also helps the existing board members, the tenured board members, hopefully build some bridges to that new individual too, and maybe learning their some new practices of their own as opposed to this new person only adopting kind of existing practices within the board, right? I think this is, to me, inclusive culture is also about people coming to meet each other.